Good morning, everyone. It's great to be with you again. I've looked forward to being with you, and uh, I will be with you this week, right through until Friday or Saturday, and then Ken takes over on that wonderful day, Pentecost Sunday. But we're in that time of the year where, according to the Bible, the disciples were waiting. They were waiting for something to happen. You remember Jesus said, wait here. Wait until that time will come, and it was going to happen very soon, when you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Now, I wonder if they realized what that was going to involve them in. They were going to be absolutely immersed, overwhelmed by God. Isn't that a great thought? To be overwhelmed, immersed in the presence and the glory and the majesty and the power and the challenges that God gives to us. Uh, and that day, on that day, said Jesus, you will receive power, power, and you will be my witnesses. And he tells them where they are going to be bearing witness to Christ in Jerusalem and Judea and to the ends of the earth. But you know, the Holy Spirit is, is a name that comes easily on our, on our lips. But who is the Holy Spirit about whom Jesus speaks? Well, the creeds have long, long involved statements about the Holy Spirit. But very simply, I like to think of the Holy Spirit as God's empowering presence in the world and in our lives. God's empowering presence. You will receive power, said Jesus. And Paul, writing to young Timothy in his letter, says, remember that the spirit that you have been given is the spirit of power and love and of self-discipline. So the Spirit of God is one who comes to help us to live, to give us energy and power, to help us to take our lives forward, to fulfill the calling that God has given and made upon you and me. So today, this the first week as we lead up to Pentecost, think of God who comes to empower you to live your life. God be with you.